Cinema lovers, brace yourselves for a cinematic extravaganza. Hollywood's abuzz with blockbusters, and we've got the exclusive scoop that'll keep you hooked from start to finish. Embark on a cinematic odyssey from Paramount's Sonic spin-off whispers to the Super Bowl's trailer extravagance and Vin Diesel's final Fast and Furious lap. The movie team is ablaze with rumors, surprises, and heartwarming farewells. Buckle up for a ride through the real wonders you won't dare overlook. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up your snack bowls and get ready for the ultimate spectacle of touchdowns, tackles, and tantalizing trailers, the Super Bowl. As we gear up for a blockbuster bonanza in 2024, the Super Bowl on February 11th is poised to unveil a reel of tantalizing teasers that will have fans on the edge of their seats. Leading the charge in the superhero realm is the much-anticipated Deadpool 3, a movie that marks a pivotal moment for the Merc with a Mouth as he steps into the Marvel Studios spotlight. Despite facing setbacks during Hollywood strikes, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine are ready to tag team and the Super Bowl might just be the perfect stage for their triumphant return. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the star-studded sequel, is set to hit theaters shortly after the Super Bowl. While a taste of the paranormal extravaganza was served late last year, the Super Bowl could dish out another helping of spooks, laughs, and maybe a sneak peek at a monstrous new specter. Godzilla x Kong: The New Empire might also stomp its way into the Super Bowl spotlight, with the first trailer already making waves, expect the Colossal Titans to unleash more jaw-dropping action, all while keeping the plot under wraps. A Quiet Place Day 1 may also creep into the Super Bowl scene, and the suspense is palpable. With the horrifying gimmick that made the franchise a sensation, a TV spot or trailer during the Super Bowl might just send shivers down your spine. Additionally, Inside Out 2 is on the horizon, and what better way to get us all emotional than a Super Bowl trailer? From the familiar world of emotions to the introduction of the lovable anxiety, this sequel promises to tug at our heartstrings. As for the animated mischief makers, Despicable Me 4 is set to debut in July, and what better place to unveil the first footage than the Super Bowl? Expect minion madness, family fun, and a plethora of new memes. On the small screen, House of the Dragon is poised to reignite the flames of excitement with its sophomore season. While an exact release date might remain elusive, a Super Bowl trailer could transport us back to the enchanting world of Westeros, teasing the drama and dragons that await. Finally, brace yourselves for the return of the Clown Prince of Crime and Joker Folia Du. Scheduled for an October debut, the sequel to the billion dollar Joker movie is ready to stun us with its musical premise and Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. The screen is about to light up with teasers, trailers, and tantalizing glimpses into the cinematic wonders that 2024 has in store. Prepare for a chilling reunion, because Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is unveiling tantalizing glimpses into the latest escapade of the iconic squad. While Ghostbusters Afterlife took us down memory lane with the OG Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire is cranking up the nostalgia to a whole new level. Drawing inspiration from the 80s animated gem, the real Ghostbusters, the fourth installment in the original franchise, is treating fans to peculiar new aliens, the ghost-busting transformation of Janine, and the glorious return of Slimer, all showcased in Empire Magazine's exclusive first-look images. In their latest issue, Empire spills the ectoplasmic beans, offering a sneak peek at the highly anticipated sequel. The visuals bring Vecman, Stance and Zetamore back to the legendary New York City firehouse, revisiting the iconic setting from the original movies. And it's not just the Ghostbusters who find themselves irresistibly drawn back. Slimer has apparently taken up residence in their old haunt. Feast your eyes on the first look image, featuring the mischievous Slimer, the mini Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, and a fresh look at Bill Murray and Ernie Hudson, suited up as Venkman and Zetamore. Frozen Empire is embracing this nostalgic fervor, bringing back beloved entities like Slimer to weave its magic. Initially slated for December 20th, 2023, the film danced around the release calendar, settling on March 22nd, 2024, taking eager fans on a supernatural journey that promises to be worth the wait. Rumors are swirling faster than Sonic himself about the potential rise of Shadow the Hedgehog in the Sonic movie franchise. Paramount Pictures, the brains behind the speedy hedgehog on the silver screen, is reportedly gearing up for a Shadow-centric spin-off project. 
Hold on to your rings though, because the exact nature of this project remains shrouded in mystery. Is it a full-blown blockbuster? A binge-worthy TV show? Or perhaps a combo of both? The tantalizing tidbits come courtesy of the ever-reliable Daniel Richtman, who spilled the sonic beans on his Patreon. While details are scarce, one thing's for sure, Shadow is poised to become the next big thing in Sonic's cinematic universe. With the character's immense popularity among die-hard fans and undeniable appeal to a new generation brought in by the movies, the possibilities are as vast as Green Hill Zone. Will Shadow steal the spotlight in Sonic the Hedgehog 3? Or is he destined for a solo adventure, leaping off the big screen and into our hearts? The Speculation Express is on full throttle, and while nothing is set in stone, one thing is certain. Sonic aficionados should brace themselves for a wild ride in 2024. So buckle up, strap on your power sneakers, and get ready for a Sonic Shadow Showdown, because the Hedgehog hype train is unstoppable, and it's barreling into theaters on December 20th, 2024. Get ready for a farewell lap, because the next Fast and Furious installment signals Vin Diesel's grand exit from the driver's seat as Dominic Toretto. According to the latest report from Jeff Snyder, Diesel's final ride will be in the upcoming Lean and Mean Fast 11, a throwback to the franchise's roots and a departure from the globe-trotting adventures of its predecessors. Described as a back-to-basics sequel following the summer release of Fast X, Fast 11 is set to focus on one last heist or race, mirroring the simplicity of the original 2001 film, The Fast and the Furious. Snyder's report also suggests a departure from Jason Momoa's character, Dante Reyes, in favor of introducing a new villain. The 10th entry's cliffhanger ending, with Dom and his son trapped under a dam rigged with explosives, sets the stage for an epic conclusion. So where will he go? In June, Universal dropped a bombshell. Dwayne Johnson is revving back into the Fast Universe for a new movie. Set to bridge the gap between Fast X and the upcoming Fast 11, this untitled interquel is a hotly anticipated addition to the franchise, making room for other Fast alumni, including Jason Momoa's Dante Reyes, to share the screen with Johnson instead of Vin Diesel. Mark your calendars for April 4th, 2025, as Diesel gears up for his final lap. Fast fans can expect a farewell that echoes the franchise's roots, promising a nostalgic ride through the streets where it all began. Get ready to soar back into the magical world of dragons, as How to Train Your Dragon director, Dean DeBlois, unleashes a thrilling behind-the-scenes glimpse of the upcoming live-action remake. The DreamWorks sensation, known for its animated trilogy, is set to take flight once again in a new format. DeBlois, the creative mastermind behind the original trilogy, excitedly shared on Instagram a snapshot from the film's set, featuring himself with a clapperboard showcasing the movie's logo. The backdrop hints at the return to the beloved village of Burke, a key setting in the animated saga. Returning to the director's chair, DeBlois is bringing back familiar faces, with Gerard Butler reprising his role as Stoic, Moss Thames stepping into the shoes of Hiccup, and Nico Parker embodying Astrid. Comedian Nick Frost is set to breathe life into the character of Gobber the Belch in live-action form. While details about the plot remain shrouded in mystery, fans can anticipate a fresh take on the 2010 original, with enough twists to make the live-action adaptation a unique and captivating experience. Mark your calendars for June 13th, 2025, when the enchanting world of How to Train Your Dragon takes flight once again on the big screen. Get ready for a dragon-riding adventure like never before. Hold on to your monster hats, folks, because Monarch Legacy of Monsters Maestro Chris Black has confidently assured fans that the live-action MonsterVerse series is set to roar back for another thrilling season. In an exclusive interview with TV Line, the maestro behind the Monarch Madness, showrunner Chris Black, dished out some tantalizing tidbits about the potential continuation of this beastly series. With a wink and a nod, Black painted a cautiously optimistic picture of a second season, sending ripples of excitement through the devoted fanbase. His words, we feel we have more story to tell, echo like the roar of a titan, promising that the saga might just be getting started. Monarch Legacy of Monsters, the time-traveling tale that's been a breath of fresh air, seamlessly stitches together the 1950s and the 2010s to unravel Monarch's cryptic origins. Monarch Legacy of Monsters has us captivated by a story that spans generations. Chris Black's positive outlook signals that more big surprises could be coming our way. 
the upcoming finale isn't just an ending, it could lead to an even more exciting adventure. While a second season hasn't been confirmed yet, we might have to wait until at least late 2025 or beyond. So gear up, kaiju enthusiasts, for the show that promises not just a finale, but a monstrous beginning of something even more epic. Gear up, DC fans, because the Supergirl casting saga is reaching super heroic heights. According to the latest intel from Deadline, the coveted role in James Gunn and Peter Safran's DCU is sparking a three-way battle among rising stars, Millie Alcock, Amelia Jones, and Meg Donnelly. The Supergirl movie set to unfold from Tom King's 2022 comic book arc, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, is now putting these talents through the ultimate test, screen tests. But hold on, here's the twist. James Gunn, the maestro himself, is cooking up a surprise cameo for our Supergirl in another DC project. Sorry, Sasha Kaye, you're out of the race. So who are these powerhouses vying for the iconic role? Millie Alcock, fresh from her dragon riding escapades in House of the Dragon? Amelia Jones, the Netflix darling with an Oscar-winning touch? And Meg Donnelly, the Disney Channel luminary who's no stranger to the Supergirl universe. As the screen tests unfold, DC enthusiasts are on the edge of their seats, eager to see who will wear the S-Shield next. Will it be a Dragon Queen, an award-winning songbird, or a Disney Channel Dynamo? With Superman Legacy set for July 11th, 2025, we can presumably expect Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, to hit theaters sometime in 2027. Get ready for a sci-fi roller coaster, because Tom Cruise's Fresh Pact with Warner Brothers is sparking hope for the much-anticipated Edge of Tomorrow 2. The Hollywood Reporter spills the beans, revealing that Warner Brothers film gurus Michael DeLuca and Pam Abdi are pulling out all the stops to lure Cruise back for the sci-fi sequel currently in the works. Cruise's newfound deal with the studio, allowing him to develop and produce a mix of franchise flicks and original projects, has added jet fuel to the speculation. Edge of Tomorrow stands as the sole Cruise IP in Warner Brothers' grasp, and fans are buzzing with anticipation. Emily Blunt, Cruise's co-star, spilled the beans last August, confirming that the sequel script was in the bag and she was ready to dive back into the action. Despite the first film's lukewarm box office reception, its home video success turned into a sci-fi classic, earning a passionate fan base and setting the stage for an epic sequel. Director Doug Lyman is teasing a sequel that would revolutionize how people make sequels, titled Live, Die, Repeat, and Repeat. Cruz's trusted ally, Christopher McQuarrie, is penning the screenplay, Yet, as of now, the release date for Edge of Tomorrow 2 remains a mystery, and the absence of a finalized script, coupled with scheduling snags for the cast, pose formidable challenges. Director David Ayer is buzzing about the prospects of The Beekeeper 2. The action-packed thriller featuring Jason Statham as retired operative Adam Clay dives into the clandestine world of The Beekeeper. Ayer spills the honey on the sequel stating that the first film merely cracked the door a little bit into the beekeeper world. While no sequel is set in stone, Ayer's enthusiasm is palpable, with a myriad of questions about the beekeeper lore itching for answers. In an interview, he said, We cracked the door a little bit into the beekeeper world, and I would love to learn more about them. I'm extremely curious. Where do they come from? Who are they? How do they operate? What happened in the system? Did it break? Did the beekeepers break? Do we have to fix the beekeepers? Who fixes the beekeepers when the beekeepers need fixing? It's just an amazing mythology. There's so much room to explore. The film's conclusion leaves the door wide open for delving deeper into the secret organization and Adam's world. However, the Beekeeper 2's fate hinges on its box office success. While an official release date is still in the shadows, if the Beekeeper 2 does take flight, you can bet it'll be buzzing with excitement and anticipation for what lies beyond. So which upcoming movie has you on the edge of your seat? Let me know in the comments, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.